Welcome back to Message Crawler Video Manual. Today we're talking about Instant Bloomberg. Let's jump to PowerPoint and talk about how we can take Bloomberg data and convert it into RSMF files. Now, there are lots of different sources that can be exported from Bloomberg. There are Bloomberg emails, there's a corporate email, uh, mobile communications, trade, pre-trade, all kinds of stuff. What we're talking about is what's called instant Bloomberg. It is an instant communication messages that are saved as an XML file format. What we want to do is take those, convert them into RSMF and load to relativity. Now, before we do that, we need to start by organizing our data. When I work with this data type, it always comes in in, in the formats that are organized in different ways. Sometimes it's poorly organized, sometimes it's well organized, sometimes you get extra subfolders, sometimes you do not. And what we want to do in this case is organize data first before we try to load it to message crawler. There are two uh, file file containers that we need to concern ourselves with, which is .xml.zip. This is the folder that contains our XML with metadata. And then we have att.tar.gz. That is the container that contains our attachments. We need to extract both of those and we want to put our XML file on the root of whatever folder we're going to be using. And we want to put attachments in the folder with the same name as the XML file name and put all the attachments in there without any kind of subfolders or anything else. And what I like to do is I like to get rid of all the extra files. So I don't want, so you, like I was on the previous slide, there are these audits, there's audit delimited. I like to get rid of all those files and clean everything up. So I have a structure that looks something like this. I have a folder with attachments and then I have XML files with metadata. You notice that I have less folders with attachments because some of these XMLs do not actually have any attachments, so there's no folder for them. And once you have your data neatly organized, we're going to go to the next step where we're going to load data into message crawler. So you're going to open the application and click on the Bloomberg button and you'll be greeted with an import screen. And the first thing you need to do is import these XML files into memory. Uh, in this situation, you can load multiple XML files at a time because you usually get a collection of lots of them. So you can hold down the shift button and select multiple files or control drag or whichever way you like doing it. So you can load multiple files at the same time. Once the file is loaded into memory, uh, you need to generate uh, sequential numbers, some kind of unique number. So when we uh, either export this to that file or to a grid, we have a unique identifier. It's always good to have unique identifiers. So first option, we can export this data to a DAT file. That is if you want to preview this in Excel, or maybe you want to load it to concordance or another tool, you can kind of see what's in there, analyze your fields. Or if you want to uh, perform the conversion, you're going to click on load to grid and that will load data into the grid of a message crawler. Now you notice there is a checkbox saying append to grid. So you can check the checkbox and the XML data will be appended to existing data in the grid in the message crawler. Now the next thing we need to talk about is Bloomberg email versus corporate email. Uh, these XML files have two email addresses because users, while well, they have two email addresses, they have a Bloomberg email address and they have a corporate email address. And when you load this data into message crawler, you will get two from fields. There's going to be from and from corporate. From email address will be user's Bloomberg email address. If for whatever reason, user doesn't have a Bloomberg email address, a corporate email address will be used instead. From corporate works opposite. It will have a person's corporate email address. However, if that is missing for whatever reason, message caller will use Bloomberg email address instead. Now, it is up to you to decide which email address is more important and which one you want to use in your RSMF conversion. When you load uh, Bloomberg into message crawler, the fields will generally be mapped for you automatically. Your field mapping should look something like this. We'll go over this a little bit more in our hands-on demo. And when we go into export, we do want to enter our messaging platform Bloomberg. Um, we do want to spell it correctly, not like it is on the screenshot. We also want to select our channel conversation B2 
because this is a channel, not person-to-person -person conversation, and we'll select our export format as RSMF. All right, and it's time for demo. Let's jump into Message Crawler and actually perform that conversion. All right, let's take a look at how we can convert Bloomberg Instant XML file to RSMF. I'm going to go to Message Crawler, click on Bloomberg, and now what we need to do is load Bloomberg XML into memory. So I'm going to click on import and I will find my Bloomberg folder. Uh, just like we talked about in the presentation, we have organized our data to make sure our XML and attachments are in the right folder and everything is organized. Uh, you don't have any junk files. Um, so I'm gonna double click on our XML file and it will get loaded to memory. Now we can load multiple XML files by doing control click but we just have one here. Uh, from here, there are a couple of options. We can export this to a DAT file. So if you just want to uh, preview it, maybe in concordance or another tool like Excel, uh, you can do that, or you can export data to grid for RSMF conversion. One new checkbox you will find here, which is unique to Bloomberg for now, is append to grid. So you can take multiple of Bloomberg files and you can load them into here and then append to existing data in grid. And of course we have our unique identifier which you should always create some kind of unique number for your data. This is where you can specify that here. So let's load this to grid and see what we get. All right, Bloomberg data, we have our control number as normal. We have a group identifier. Group identifier tells us where the attachments are. So if we uh, find an attachment, for example here, uh, this number repeats, so this is like a bag attach, a group identifier in relativity, which is mapped to group identifier here. Uh, we have a room ID, which you can use as a conversation identifier. In our situation, uh, message caller generated a conversation based on room ID and date or time stamp over here. So anytime uh, this date changes or room changes, we get a new conversation. So it is up to you whether you want to export everything in the room to one file, which you can do like so, or you can use generate conversation and split everything by day. It will depend on how many messages you have per day, if it's a really busy group or not very busy. All right, uh, then we have our usual fields such as email, we have from, from corporate. So we talked about from and from corporate. Uh, if you have your from, this will favor Bloomberg email address, and if Bloomberg email address is missing, it will grab a corporate email address, and the corporate one is the other way around, it will try to use a corporate email account, and if that one is missing, it will use Bloomberg. Uh, again, it's up to you which one you want to use in your export, so you just map it right here in your sender. In my case, I have it mapped as from. Uh, what else we have? We have our content, uh, different IDs, companies, we are good, we have our attachments here, uh, everything is mapped as needed. We, for Bloomberg, we actually don't have any recipients too because we don't have any group participants, so we're going to leave it unmapped. Um, we are going to change this to Bloomberg, and conversation type is going to be channel, and we're going to set our export folder. And at this point, we are ready to export. So I'm going to click on Generate Export. And there we go. All right, and that's how easy it is to take Bloomberg data, convert it to RSMF file. Next step from here is going to be using Relativity Processing to process the data and put it into Relativity so that reviewers can go and look at the messages and make decisions that they have to make. All right, I will see you on the next chapter of Message Crawler.